After studying this module, you shall be able to evaluate rate constant for diffusion control reactions, identify factors controlling rate of ionic reactions, know about salt effects, analyze effect of charge and ionic strength on rate of ionic reactions, analyze influence of solvent on rate of ionic reactions. Introduction To consider reactions in solution, we have to imagine processes that are entirely different from those in gases. In gas phase, the collision of molecules hurtling through space, whereas in solution, there is a jostling of one molecule through a dense but mobile collection of solvent molecules. The two molecules after interacting in solution phase ripple from separation because of enclosure of solvent molecules which compensate for the slow diffusion of reactant molecules. Hence, in solution phase, the fast reactions are diffusion controlled. Therefore, in this module, we will study the kinetics of diffusion control reactions and the factors controlling them. Let us know about the kinetics of reactions in solution. According to simple kinetic theory, the frequency of collision between reacting molecules depends only on the conduction of the reactants. However, there is a difference in the outcome of encounter between reactant molecules in solutions compared with the collision of molecules in the gas phase. If two molecules collide in the gas phase and do not react, they will normally move away from each other. There is very likelihood that this same pair will collide again. In contrast, when two solute molecules diffuse together in a solution, they cannot move apart again quickly after the initial encounter because they are surrounded closely by solvent molecules. In this case, the reactants are temporarily trapped in a cage of solvents. To be sure, the cage is not rigid as the solvent molecules are constantly in motion and changing in motion and changing positions. Nevertheless, the cage effect causes the reactant molecules to remain together for a longer time then they would be in the gas phase and they may collide with each other hundreds of time before they graft apart. For reactants that have relatively low activation energies, the cage effect virtually ensures the reaction during each encounter. The steric factor no longer plays an important role because the reacting molecule would sooner or later become properly oriented for the reaction during the collisions. Under these conditions, the rate of reaction is limited only by how fast the reactants can diffuse together. You can see in this figure, the solute molecules diffuses into a solvent cage and encounter each other. Hundreds of collisions between solute molecules occur before the cage is destroyed. Let us know about diffusion control reactions in solution. Diffusion control reactions in solution are generally very fast and have very small activation energy. For these reactions, the rate of chemical interaction is often greater than the rate at which the reacting molecules approach each other by diffusing via the solution. In such case, the experimentally measured rate is not the rate of interaction between the molecules but is instead the rate of diffusion in solution. Such reactions are called diffusion control reactions. Examples of diffusion control reactions are the electron transfer and atom recombination reactions in organic solvent. The theory of diffusion control reaction was developed by Peter Debye. In 1917, a theory of growth of colloidal particles and their diffusion towards the surface had been developed. Let us assume a reaction between two uncharged reactant molecules A and B of radii Ra and Rb which have diffusion coefficient as dA and dB. The number of encounter per cubic centimeter per second between A and B is given by equation 1 where Na and Nb are the number of molecules 
per cubic centimeter of reactant A and B respectively also gives the reaction rate in terms of molecules if each encounter leads to a chemical reaction. To obtain the rate in moles per centimeter cube per second we divide mu by Na the Avogadro's number then evidently where Kd is the diffusion control rate constant and Na upon Avogadro's number and Nb upon Avogadro's number are the mole concentration of A and B respectively. From equation 2 we get equation 3 and hence from equation 1 and equation 3 we get equation 4. The diffusion coefficient of a spherical molecule in a liquid is related to the coefficient of viscosity eta of the liquid and the radius r of the molecule by Stokes equation. Thus for molecule A and B we have equation where Kb is Boltzmann constant. Substituting equation 5 into equation 4 we have expression for Kd where r is the ideal gas constant. If we assume that Ra is equals to Rb then we get a modified equation for Kd. Equation 6 is a well known Debye equation for the rate constant of diffusion controlled reaction. It may be pointed out that in this equation the radii of the molecules have been cancelled out. Therefore, the bimolecular rate constant of a diffusion controlled reaction is independent of the size of the molecules. Also, we see that Kd is inversely proportional to the coefficient of viscosity of the solvent. You can see in example 1, you have to estimate the diffusion control rate constant for the combination of molecule A and B in water at 25 degree centigrade. The coefficient of viscosity of water at this temperature is to be taken as 1 centipoise. On using equation 6 for Kd, we get the value of Kd as 7 into 10 to the power of 9 decimeter cube per mole per second. Hence, we observe that the diffusion control reaction between the neutral molecules in water have the rate constant of the order of 7 into 10 to the power of 9 decimeter cube per mole per second. The rate constant greater than this value should not be observed. A fact that is borne out by experiment of course if the reactant species are oppositely charged. For example, H plus and OH ions then the rate constant is about 1.3 into 10 to the power of 1 decimeter cube per mole per second. This is because of the enhancement of diffusion as a consequence of electrostatic interaction between the two ions. When the two reacting molecules are the same that is A is equals to B, the Debye equation in SI units reduces to equation number 7. You can see, now we will see the factors controlling the rate of ionic reactions, influence of ionic strength, the salt effects. Ionic strength of a solution can significantly affect the rates of reaction, mainly the enzyme reactions. Consider a journal reaction involving ions in solution, where Za and Zb are the charges on the reactants A and B and the charge on the activated complex is equal to Za plus Zb. Since the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of the activated complex X hence the equilibrium between the activated complex and the reactant is written as equation 9 where A's are the activities and gamma's are the activity coefficient of the species involved. Rearranging equation 9 to obtain the concentration of activated complex and substituting in equation 8 we obtained equation 10. For the second order reaction we get equation 11. On taking log we get equation number 12. As we would expect the rate of reaction involving ions 
depends strongly on the ionic strength of the solution. This dependence is known as the kinetic salt effect from the debye huckel limiting law for electrolyte solutions we have the relation number 13 where A is a constant that depends only on the temperature and nature of solvent and I is the ionic strength of the solution defined by equation 14 where MIs are the molalities and ZIs are the valencies of the various species. Substituting equation 13 into equation 12 we get equation 15. For aqueous solution at 25 degree centigrade the constant A is equals to 0.51 so that we get equation 16 or 17 which is the equation of a straight line. A plot of ln k by k naught versus i raised to the power 1 by 2 gives a straight line with the slope equals to 1.02 into the product of za and zb. You can see in this figure the effect of ionic strength on the rate constant of a reaction. The product of za zb gives the slope of the line. Reactions are represented in the figure. It has been seen that if one of the reactant is neutral molecule, the product of ZA into ZB is equal to 0 and therefore the rate constant will become independent of the ionic strength. This is true for the base catalyzed hydrolysis of ethyl acetate. Now we will see the influence of solvent. Ionic reaction in solution are affected by electrostatic interactions among the reactive species. Let us consider an ionic reaction involving two ions A and B of radius Ra and Rb and charge ZAE and ZBE in solution. Assume that the two ions are initially at infinite distance apart but they touch each other when they form the activated complex. The work done in bringing the two ions together from infinity to a distance DAB is given by equation 18 where epsilon ER is the dielectric constant of the solvent. This work is equal to the electrostatic contribution to the Gibbs free energy increase in going from initial to the transition state. If the signs of charges on the ions are the same this work is positive. If they are different it is negative. There is also a molar non-electrostatic term delta G. The free energy of activation per molecule may thus be written in the form of equation 19. From the activated complex theory the rate constant is given by equation 20. On substitution of equation 19 in equation 20 we get equation 21 and subsequently on taking the log of this equation we get equation 22. Equation 22 is the equation of a straight line. It shows that the logarithm of the rate constant of an ionic reaction varies inversely with the dielectric constant of the solvent at a given temperature. Several ionic reactions obey this plot over a limited range. You can see a plot of log k versus the reciprocal of dielectric constant for a typical ionic reaction. The measurement of the slope which equals to Na into Za into Zb E square divided by Rt dAb can lead to the estimation of dAb. Now let us summarize this module. On applying collision theory for the reaction in the solution phase we observe that the rate of diffusion control ionic reaction depends on the factors like the charge of the ions and the ionic strength of the solution that is greater the value of charges and ionic strength greater is the rate of reaction. In addition the rate for diffusion control reaction is inversely proportional to the viscosity and dielectric constant of the solvent and therefore affect the rate of ionic reaction in solution phase.